Hello and welcome to the February Film Newscast. I'm Casey Neely, editor of Window Film Magazine. This month we're focusing on proper installation tips. Not having a team that's well versed in accurate installation procedures can be costly for your company and ruin your credibility with consumers. Todd Bergman, chief technical trainer at InterWest Distribution Company, told us some of his best tips for high quality installations. Bergman says one of the top questions he gets is how can you cut on the glass without damaging it? To start, Bergman uses a carbon blade with a piece of plastic core on the tip. This acts pretty much like a wall or a wallpaper uh, seam buster or anything like that, but I can actually get it going underneath the film, okay, with the plastic ride along the border. And that way, my blade never actually even touches the glass, okay? You can do it for your rough cut and also your final cut. Now moving on to the side glass, I get questions all the time as far as, hey Todd, how can we actually do this? Or I see tinners uh, basically using their factory edge down at the bottom, aligning it first, dropping the window, cutting the top border, and then go ahead and cutting the sides or marking the sides. A lot of new tinners have a hard time basically trying to make a uh, clean cut, especially when you're doubled up. So what we generally do is teach people how to go ahead, keep the film on, start with your top border cut first, Okay. That way, if you do get a jagged edge or anything else, you have room to move the film up, make a secondary cut. Okay. From that point in time, once you're happy with your top order, I can go ahead, fold this back, roll it up, and I can actually even use grease pencil to mark my sides and my bottom, depending on where I want my final cuts to be. Then go ahead, take my templates off to a glass table, and go ahead and take a straight edge, round my corners, and I'm a good to go and never really touched a blade to the actual glass. Okay? When I come to actually cutting side wing windows, okay, some of the wing windows that are the most difficult have even basically rubber seals on the inside now. Okay? To do those, generally I like using an NT red dot because they have a finer adjustment on the actual blade track. And if I go out actually just the first click out, okay, what it allows me to do is actually ride the rubber next to the seal against the actual blade holder like so, okay? So I never actually really risk cutting into the rubber. So if I lay my film down, feel where it actually starts, drop my blade, okay? Go ahead, slide that down, and let the blade actually do the work. What it allows me to do is make a nice clean cut all the way down that edge, okay? Same way, if I need to come back up, I'm just gonna drop that back into place. Go ahead up to my corner tear off my film, come back, do my bottom, and you're good to go. A few other quick tips. I always try to utilize a uh, vertical hanging spray board just because anytime you pull a liner, it does attract lint. So having it vertical, not on your back glass when you're trying to remove your liner, can help in reducing contamination. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys, heat guns, okay? A lot of people use a paint stripping heat gun similar to this. Not bad, but if you use some of the other heat guns out there, what you want to look for is a higher CFM uh, as far as your air movement goes. Okay, These actually function better when you're shrinking and help the film shrink more evenly than getting hot spots with some of your typical paint stripping guns. After seeing these suggested tips, you may be feeling confident enough to join us as a contestant at the upcoming International Window Film Conference and Ten Off coming this fall to the Charm City of Baltimore, Maryland. Here to give us an update on how things are going is competition coordinator Trisha Lopez. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Casey. Thank you for having me. How have things been going so far with the 10-off competition planning? Things are ahead of schedule, which I love. We've had multiple judges calls, which have brought us to the finalizing of the rules and regulations for each competition. Contestants can expect to see those online in March ahead of when we had planned and earlier than in previous years. How has the response been so far? We have had calls from both returning and new contestants for all three divisions. Not only questions and requests for information, but also registrations are already rolling in. Due to the current rate of contestants signing up, we are also planning to increase our supplies needed. If you want to see more top installation tips, such as the ones we've discussed here today, then be sure to attend the International Window Film Conference and Ten Off October 7th through 9th at the Baltimore Convention Center, where the best of the best from around the world will compete and charm us with their talents. That's all for this edition of the Film Newscast. We hope these tips can help your company prevent some costly mistakes when installing film. Stay tuned to March when we cover decorative film installation and our tent tips video. Thanks for joining us.